morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning, and we just had a pretty good rain, and we're supposed to get rain all day today, which is really good, because the pond hasn't been full enough for me to harvest water from it using the ram pump. So I have an emergency solution I'm going to show you uh, in case we go through a prolonged drought to get water up onto the pasture so that <laughs> I can water my garden. Uh, but I'll go ahead and try to start the pump as well, and I'll take you along the journey, so stay tuned. Okay, uh, this is the emergency solution. I have a half-inch pipe that basically goes from, it's 500 feet, but it's, I probably only need about 300, but it goes all the way up through the woods to the IBC tote, and I got this little coupler here, so I'm going to go ahead and attach it. And in case I go a prolonged amount of time, I think this just gets pushed in here and we'll test it out for sure. All right, so this should, again, be the emergency water solution. Let's see if it works. It's filling up. It's like it's leaking a little bit, but it's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna go up there and see how we're doing. It's had a really good rain last couple days. Okay, here's the, you see it's kind of moving. And I'm gonna take the top off the worm bin so they get some more rain today. Let's see, where did I put that? Over here. Not coming through yet. Maybe there's a kink in the line. go check the line. Okay, it's heavy with water, so maybe it's just taking a while to go through this 500 foot long. Yeah, it looks like it's getting heavy with water. I'm going to shorten this up a bit. Just had to be patient, I think. Here's a kink. There we go. There we go, folks. So this is the emergency method to fill up. So that's not too bad. That's about a 300 foot distance. Whenever we have a good drought, then I can take this up. Now let's take a quick look at the garden here. We had Again, really good rain. Look, look, looks like we have these tomatoes coming in here. Ooh, got some cucumbers coming. Lots of cherry tomatoes. Lots of cherry tomatoes. So that's good. And we're really doing well with tomatoes. I'm going to let these ripen on the vine, but they're heavy. 
And then we got some small but delicious bell peppers that are ripe. Man, look at all the tomatoes on that guy. <laughs> all right, so we also planted some peas. You can see right here the peas are coming up. Um, we got some more tobacco right there. We also had some hail, so I, I wonder how that impacted. It looks like the tobacco did pretty well with the hail. So, isn't that pretty? Tobacco flowers. All right, it looks like we have enough leaves there for a good smoking. Everything's really wet up here. Got some sweet potatoes here. Looks like somebody's been chewing on them. And I weeded all of this. Here's the watermelon. And I got some more beans coming up. Oop, looks like we have some uh, insect pressure on our pumpkins. Yeah, looks like got some uh, eggs on the flower there. Not good. Okay, I'll have to spray. And then sweet potatoes doing well in the bins. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, I'll get the ram pump going. The ram pump feeds this line and uh, turn off the emergency one. <laughs> okay, so we'll go down by the uh, ram pump now. I did have some Japanese beetle pressure here, so I put up one of these bags and it looks like it's doing a good job. Lots of beetles in there. So that's good. Okay, we're coming down here to the pond dam. See, that's that's the pond dam right there. It goes down about a good, I'd say, 30 feet. Uh, lots of cobwebs. <laughs> so, yeah, the pond looks really nice and high. Down there is the uh, ram pump, if you can see it. So let's see how much overflow we have because we need that overflow to keep that bucket filled. And the bucket, bucket always has to be overflowing for it to work. And it looks like we still don't have enough. See how this has to be completely underwater here to really be effective. And this intake right here, see the bucket? It's just, I don't think we have enough flow. Let's see though, let's try. Get this all cleaned out. We might have enough flow. If I can get this deeper. There we go. Get a rock on it. Push it down. I don't know. I don't think we have enough. We'll try though. I haven't touched this in quite a while, so I'm gonna empty the bucket. Just get the ma main sludge out. There, and then hook that up. 
this is from the pond. This is actually sitting in the pond. So that's pretty good flow. <clears throat> this is that little thing that's above the water. See that we, we're getting a, a little bit of flow there. It's free water. <laughs> it's not enough. I don't think it's enough. Whoops, that just came out completely. Looks like the bucket is busted. Okay, this isn't gonna work at all. I gotta get a new bucket, basically. All right, the emergency system is just gonna have to do it. We need another good rain, and I need another bucket, because see that split? That's not gonna work. At least I still have this. All right. Good I came down here. I'll get another screen too. All right, folks. Um, yeah, we need another good rain and we have a lot more rain coming today. So I'll go ahead and uh, get a new bucket ready. It's probably needed a new bucket anyway because it's getting pretty filthy after about two years use. So. Yep, let's pray for more rain. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey folks, uh, you know, I, I told you we had some storms and we have more storms coming. Uh, we've Yesterday we had uh, several seconds, I would say about five or six, where the power went out, yeah, again, for a second or so, but it came back on and we, it would blink, it would blink, it would blink. But it looks like we've... Uh, We've lost power now, at least enough for the Generac to kick in, and it's doing its job. So, here we go. Yeah, so I'm not sure what caused the power outage. Uh, the storms are coming, but the sky, I can see some blue, so I don't know what happened. So uh, hopefully that's quickly fixed, but you know, we can live as normal with this Generac. So thank goodness. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, folks, um, I took the old bucket and it was, it's split right here. You can see it's split right there and it's uh, split right there. So this bucket <laughs> is toast, at least for the uh, ram pump, but I can use it for like, you know, weeding and things like that. So I'll, I'll continue to use that bucket going forward. I went ahead and put in the, the holes. I used this uh, Milwaukee dozer. And that was pretty easy. And put in the existing uh, gaskets on both sides. You see this one is higher. This is the input. This is the output. And I took the existing screen. Instead of just getting a new one, I sprayed it off. It's good enough. So, all right. I'll take that down to the... Uh, it's been raining like crazy. So... Um, really really hard rains today so i expect that we'll have plenty of water to uh, start capturing using the ram pump so stay with me down here at the pond dam just wanted to show you kind of it things are looking good we have a completely full pond getting some cobwebs in my face <laughs> So yeah, um, down there's the ram pump. Let me get a stick. <clears throat> Lots of cobwebs. <laughs> See my beaten path here on the 
down to the ram pump. <laughs> Guess I'm down here often enough. All right, let's see here. Yeah, it's running good. The, this intake pipe here is completely submerged. So we should be going really well. Same with this. Unclog it. Oh, we got lots of water. All right, all I gotta do is hook it up. <clears throat> Look at that. <laughs> Lots of water. Okay. This one right here is from the pond. These two are from the overflow. There we go. Ooh. I need to move a stone. We got some plenty of water. All right. That's what you want to see, folks. Lots of overflow. But I gotta make this a little bit more level. See if I can't put this underneath. There we go. All right, can't wish for more than that. May have to babysit this as all the bubbles are worked out. Maybe not, maybe the bubbles work themselves out. I'll come down here later on and check it out, but I think we're in business. I don't need it. I don't need to use the emergency uh, direct from the well emergency backup. I can use the ram pump now. Finally, finally we have some really good rain and the pond is overflowing, so. Uh, mission accomplished. <laughs> Signing out.